Hey guys, welcome back. Now we're going to do a U sub when the angle is our U. So anytime we have an angle that's something other than, you know, one theta, one X, one U, it's going to require a U sub. For example, cosine two X. That's not just plain X. So what we do is we say, let U equal two X, same procedure du dx is equal to 2. You swap the 2 and the dx in their positions. You go here. 2x was the u. dx is this person. 2 is just a number, so I'm going to pull it out to the front. And then you say, who gives me cosine u? So look at the right side of your chart. Sine. Okay. Go back and put the U. Now you're finished. That's all. Let's do another one. Here. Why do we have to do a U sub? Because the angles are other than 1x. So what is my U? 5x plus 4. The derivative of U is just 5. Let's swap their positions. We're going to go back in order. We call this person U. We call this person U. And this person is DU over 5. Well, 5 is just a number. So I'm going to call this 1 fifth secant U tan U. Did you know that secant U tan U is a perfect integral? It's just who gives me secant U tan U? Secant U. Who's you? Finished. Done. Okay. What about this one? My angles are just plain all x. Why do I need a u sub? You're not allowed to add 1 to the exponent unless it's a term such as um, like a polynomial function. Those are the only things that our power rule for integrals work for. You can't do it to a trig. So this actually looks like this. So what do you do in this case? Well, go back to the base video. This is your base. It's being raised to a power other than 1. So you're just going to let u equal sine x. du dx is equal to cosine x because that's the derivative. That forces du over cosine x to equal dx. You come here. That's your u to the third. Cosine x. dx is. Now you integrate. You get u to the fourth over 4 plus c. Who's u? That person. So it's sine. You must put the 4 here and not next to the x. That's it. Okay. Here's my little tricky question. What about tan squared x? Well, you can't add 1 to the exponent. Okay. So in this case, there was someone right next to sine x that I knew would end up canceling out. This has no one next to him. So you actually cannot do a u sub. You have to go back to the Pythagoreans. Sine squared plus cosine squared makes 1. Tan squared plus 1 equals secant squared. So this will always be on your exams. You exchange that, and then you integrate. Who gives you secant squared? Tan. You look at the right side. Who gives you negative 1? Negative 1x. One so this was a trick problem. So generally speaking, when your trig has an exponent, there must be someone right next to them. Otherwise, you have to go to the identity. I hope you have a great night. Come back for the exponential video.